Viewers, do you feel uncertain about the future, especially with the holidays upon us? You're wondering, is there anything you can do to protect yourself and your family from unexpected food shortages? Yes, there is. Our friends at My Patriot Supply specialize in emergency long-term storage food. They're America's number one preparedness company, and they are well-stocked with the food you're going to need. Other companies have run out of almost everything they sell because they didn't prepare for what the world is going through right now. But My Patriot Supply walks the walk. You can trust this company. And right now you can save $100 on their three-month emergency food kit. This kit has enough food to get you through the difficult times ahead. But don't wait. You might miss out. Go to preparewiththinkaboutit.com and save $100 on your three-month food kit. That's preparewiththinkaboutit.com. To avoid holiday shipping delays, act now. Go to preparewiththinkaboutit.com. Our impulses are being redirected. We are living in an artificially induced state of consciousness that resembles sleep. Hi, Steve here. Have you got your toolkit yet? U.S. Surgeon General Vivek Murthy has issued a toolkit ordering Americans not to share any information about COVID, including memes and statistics, unless they're verified by the CDC. A press release from Murthy's office reads, with the authorization of COVID-19 vaccines for children five to 11 years old, it's more important than ever that families have access to accurate science-based information. Health misinformation is spreading fast and far online and throughout our communities. The good news is that we all have the power to help stop the spread of health misinformation during this pandemic and beyond. That's where this toolkit comes in, to provide Americans with resources to help limit and reduce this threat to public health. Don't you appreciate how much the Surgeon General cares about the American people? I know I do. The document asks the following questions. Did you check with the CDC or local public health department to see whether there is any information about to see if it has been verified by a credible source? Did you look at the About Us page on the website to see if you can trust the source? In other words, don't share anything that doesn't fit what your government is telling you. I get that. This is the toolkit and Dr. Murthy writes a nice introduction. If you're wondering whether this toolkit is for you, let me assure you, the answer is yes. It's for all of us, because health information has reached nearly every corner of our society, and it poses an increasing danger to us and to our loved ones. We all have the power to shape our information environment, but we must use that power together. This resource is here to provide a set of tools for you to understand, identify, and stop misinformation and help others do the same. Only then will we be able to work toward a better information environment, one that empowers us to build a healthier, kinder, and more connected world. This is the first time since I've been living that I've ever seen health misinformation at such a critical concern as it is now. And the Surgeon General tells us that this health misinformation is posing a danger to us and our loved ones. But he assures us that we all have the power to shape our information environment. But I want you to pay close attention to page seven because here is where he tells us what misinformation is, in case you didn't know. Misinformation is information that is false, inaccurate, or misleading according to the best available evidence at the time. This content is often posted on the internet or shared via text messages or emails, but it's not something that only happens online. Misinformation can also come in the form of false, misleading, or conspiratorial claims made in speeches, via pamphlets or posters, by news outlets, or in advertisements. I think what he's trying to say is this misinformation is everywhere. Mostly, misinformation is shared by people who do not know the claims, images, or videos are false or misleading. They are sharing because they want to help people and would hate to think that they were hurting them instead. It's common to think that misinformation doesn't impact us, but all of us are vulnerable and all of us can help. 
Then he even gives us more helpful information about the common types of this misinformation like memes, websites, quotations, cherry-picked statistics, graphs, or diagrams, old images and videos that have been edited to change the meaning. Do you realize how many people there must be out there working overtime to try and spread this misinformation? Never in the history of our country have I ever seen so many people working so hard to spread misinformation that doesn't agree with what our government is telling us. I, for one, am totally against spreading misinformation, especially as something as serious as this injection and what it's doing for the population of the Earth. And I hope that someday the Surgeon General can see it all come to an end and we won't need the toolkit anymore. So COVID, children's extremely low risk confirmed by study. The overall risk of children becoming severely ill or dying from COVID is extremely low. A new analysis, so low as it can't even be measured. Here's, an, here's from the New York Times. An unvaccinated child is at less risk of serious COVID illness than a vaccinated 70-year-old. Pfizer. CBS Health Watch sponsored by Pfizer. Anderson Cooper 360. Brought to you by Pfizer. ABC News Nightline. Brought to you by Pfizer. Making a difference. Brought to you by Pfizer. CNN Tonight. Brought to you by Pfizer. Early start. Brought to you by Pfizer. Friday night on Aaron Burnett out front. Brought to you by Pfizer. This week with George Stephanopoulos is brought to you by Pfizer. This weather report brought to you by Pfizer. Today's countdown to the royal wedding is brought to you by Pfizer. And now a CBS Sports update brought to you by Pfizer. Meet the press. Data download. Brought to you by Pfizer. This portion of CBS This Morning sponsored by Pfizer. On how to find the hidden sugars in the American family diet. Sponsored by Pfizer. Think about it. Think about it. By the way, there's a link in the description box below where I lead you in a simple prayer to ask Jesus to be the Lord of your life. If you want Jesus Christ to be the Lord of your life, go down there now and click on that link and pray that simple prayer with me to turn from sin and turn to God. God loves you and he's waiting for you to say yes to him. Think about it.